I am on the hype train when it comes to Sun and Moon. The Pokemon that have been revealed are, in my opinion, some of the best looking ones that we've ever gotten in this entire fucking franchise. And tonight, my boys, we have some new designs being revealed to us. Yes, at 2.20 a.m., we have new Pokemon coming from Cerebi, dog. Now, the thing is, is that there was a list on 4chan that was posted a few days ago. Very fresh list, by the way. And it, and it told, apparently, all the Pokemon that would be in the Alola decks. Now, of course, anyone can make up a list, but this one had typings, it had names, it had full evolution lines, and something about it just gave me a very eerie, real feeling. But, of course, we can't confirm it. The only way we could is if Cerebi or, you know, if Cerebi covered leaks on, um, leaks on, what, what the fuck is it? I, I, I can't even remember. My, my brain is going a million miles a minute right now, and I'll tell you guys why. But there's so many people that were saying if there's one Pokemon that's revealed and it's exactly like the typing or the name of one of the Pokemon that was on that leaked list on 4chan, then the entire fucking list is real. My friends, tonight we are going to find out. Let's find out right now. First time reaction on camera with you guys. Let's go to Cerebi real quick. As you can see, here, brand new information came out no more than 10 minutes ago from the moment that I say this on camera. New Pokemon have been revealed. I haven't looked at them yet, so we're going to be doing this shit together. One-on-one -on -one reaction status, and then after we look at the Pokemon on the Cerebi reveal, we are going to look entirely at the list and see if we can find the typing of one of the Pokemon that's brand new revealed today with the Cerebi leaks from Core Core, excuse me, and my, my, my brain, man. Sometimes you know you have a brain fart when too many things are going on at one time. So let's see what's going on here. The first images from Core Core have leaked and revealed the latest news on Sun and Moon as usual. Please note the translations are preliminary, we get that. The little sand castle is called Sun Aba, Sun Aba. And while the big one is called Suna Deshiro. Okay, so here we go. We have Sandcastle Pokemon in here. Of course, I'm not even fucking surprised at this point. They have to be creative, dog. So wait, what's the typing of these niggas? Wait a minute. So both are ghost and ground type? Whoa. Okay, so we got some more girl Golurk status in here. I like it. Ghost ground for a fucking haunted sandcastle? <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> This is so crazy, man. I'm loving the ghosts that have been introduced so far. And then we have more Pokemon. The pre-evolved Beware. Okay, so we have the pre-evolution coming in here. And it looks so cute. I would have thought Beware was just a stage one Pokemon, but something evolves into it. And look at this. It has a little attack where it like swings its arms. That's, the, that's a cute son of a bitch right there. Wait, so what is this thing called in Japanese? Its name is... Um, Nui, Nuiko Guma? Okay, so it's gonna have a different name most likely, and it remains normal fighting type, and the fish is Yawashi, and it's a water type and appears to have the ability to change its appearance into a larger fish. What the fuck is that? Deadass? So this boy can gas himself up. It's not an evolution, but he makes himself look scarier than he actually is. Alright, so this is definitely based off of a real world animal, because that sounds like a trait that some animals would have. And then, do we have any other ones? And we also have an Alolan Mew, excuse me, an Alolan Meowth and Marowak? What? Wait, wait, what? Alolan Marowak? I love it. Marowak is a Pokemon that is such a cool design, but its stats really hold it back. It has a great move pool, but not too well in the performance of the competitive metagame. What the fuck is that? That's Marowak now? What does it become? What typing is it? Alolan Mew, excuse me, I, say, I keep saying Mewtwo because my brain is just stuck on like hype mode right now. Alolan Meowth is dark type, while Alolan Marowak is fire ghost? What? 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 Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Fire ghost? Sun, Chandelure, oh my god! Marowak! Marowak and Meowth! The Pokemon are so cool! They're so cool! This is the coolest fucking gen out of all of them! Seventh is where it's at, my boy! Meowth is dark! Look at that! Look at that smug son of a bitch! Imagine what Persian's gonna look like! Holy fuck! Is there gonna be an explanation? Like, I know the Pokemon from the older generations take on new appearances, but is there, like, some sort of cause beyond just the explanation of, oh, it's a tropical island? Like, what causes? a fucking ground type to turn into a ghost! Maybe because Marowak is apparently the deceased mother of Cubone, so they played off of that concept, made it a ghost, and then some other influence caused it to take on the fire typing as well. 
I don't know, dog. Like, why does Sand Slash become a fucking ice steel? None of that makes sense to me, but hopefully there's some really interesting story-based elements that explain as to why the Pokemon from older gens take on new appearances. The one that behind Executor, brilliant. Because in the Pokedex entries earlier, it said Executor grows bigger depending on how much sunlight it has, and since the Lowland region is very sunny, Executor grew to this massive size because of those conditions, and that's why he's way more powerful. He's a dragon now, and he has that long ass neck because he's been growing from the sunlight that comes from the Lowland region. It's so cool. So I hope explanations like that last for all the Pokemon. So now, guys, the big moment of truth. This is the time. These new Pokemon that were revealed to us today, the fucking sandcastle with the ghost inside and the pre-evolution of the little bear. Let's see if there is a pre-evolution in the leaked 4chan list. I don't know if I want to show you guys because that will mean that this video has spoiler leaks in it and I don't want to show you anything that's potentially spoiler leaks. I'm just showing you guys the information that's being revealed from Coral Coral. But let me see, does Beware have a pre-evolution on this list? All right, this list is completely garbage. All right, we can, we can claim it now. So as you can see, right here, it says beware, normal fighting, and it doesn't list a pre-evolution at all for the 4chan list. This is why I didn't really cover it in a video, because even though the list did seem compelling, I didn't really believe it, even though I liked a lot of the names for the Pokemon. Beware, clearly, no pre-evo. So therefore, the, everything that's based on this is bullshit. If you did know about this list beforehand, at least now you can tell your friends, and if you didn't know, then you have no need to know. Let's see if there was anything like a ground ghost type listed here. So let me see here. Um, ground ghost for that sand castle. I see ground, ice ghost, um, ground dark, normal dragon. Um, I'm not seeing it. Not seeing it. Yeah, there's no ground ghost in this list. Alright, so everything here is absolute bogus. That's actually good to know because it means that this list isn't true and that there's a lot of surprise factor to be had still. Nothing truly predicted sun and moon stuff, unlike the Chinese leak, which happened to show the starter's final evolutions. That's pretty much proven true considering the Mallow coincidence, but at the same time, we don't know if this list... This list is definitely not true. Excuse me, we know now. We know absolutely for sure now. This list is bogus. So we can move forward with that. I'll actually delete this off my fucking computer right now. Guys, what do you think of this new news? Which of these new Pokemon is your favorite to be revealed? Mine, of course. I know it's not a new Pokemon, but the concept of the Alolan Marowak is so sick to me. And if they did really tie it in with it being a ghost due to its storyline with Cubone and it being killed, even though that would be really fucked up and dark, I think that that would be genius. I mean, look at it. Look at that thing. Dark Ghost, man. What a fucking combination. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.